Good morning guys. I'm out here today in the woods just enjoying winter. You know we just got our first big dump of snow so I wanted to share with you what I'm up to today and don't forget at the end of this video I'm going to announce the winner of my Christmas giveaway. Stay tuned. Well it's a beautiful day out here today. We got a huge Alberta clipper came through in the last uh, day or so and now we have some snow. Thank goodness it's been a rainy December. Very, very unusual uh, for this time of year, but now the snow's here. They're my little chickadee friends. They always stalk me in the woods. So I'm particularly excited um, today because I'm actually using some of my own homemade gear today. And it's the first time I've been able to use my mukluks outside this year. So there they are in all their glory, my mukluks that I made. And uh, I'll put a link to the video so you can see how I made them. And my goodness, are they ever warm. Along with the snow has come the cold, and today, certainly chilly. It's about minus 15 on the thermometer. And uh, with the wind chill, we're looking at minus 26 or so. You know, we've got about a 35 kilometer an hour wind coming in, I think, from the west southwest, they said. So, yeah, it's a little chilly, but let me tell you, I'm really warm right now. So, gear wise, today, you know, being minus 15 and all, um, I'm not wearing things that are really too heavy but uh, got some layers so certainly I have my hat and my gloves and I got this new jacket it's by Stormtech uh, I actually got it online through the Facebook marketplace uh, I was looking for a really nice winter coat this year and uh, someone wore it last winter but uh, their size had changed so they sold it and I got it, I think just a little over a hundred dollars which I mean if you guys know how much Stormtech clothing costs it's uh, a little more than that so I was really happy to uh, get this jacket for this year it's awesome there's so many pockets it's waterproof uh, breathable and uh, you know it's really nice and warm inside it's got like a little um, fleece back on it and it's got a good hood with a, a faux fur ruff on it so really really happy with this jacket uh, underneath I actually have a t-shirt on and that's how warm this jacket is if I was to wear more than that I'd just be sweating to death a little squirrel above my head <laughs> So I also have my Fall Raven pants on. I know you guys were asking about them and how well they worked uh, in cooler temperatures and it's great today. Like I don't even have long johns on or anything. Um, they've got, they're freshly waxed, ready to go. And uh, then I've got my pair of socks and I have my mukluks on. I don't even have my second pair of socks. That's how warm uh, the mukluks are. I wanna give you a close up of the snowshoes that I have on today. So these snowshoes are by G&V Snowshoe and uh, they're kind of um, a modified bear paw. So you can see they're just a little bit longer in the back. So really good for just walking around in the bush. So they don't get hung up on too many things, much like, uh, you know, if you had the, the longer um, Huron or Ojibwe style where the tails are really, really long. I mean, those are good for long distance trekking and going on open, uh, you know, open lakes and stuff like that. But if we're just trekking around in the bush, I do like these... Uh, you know, bear paw style snowshoes. So they're from Quebec. You can actually see I have a different kind of binding than I was showing you guys last year. I mean, I was using the, the Lampwick bindings, which are totally fine, uh, or the strapping for bindings. But uh, GNV also has these awesome rubber bindings and uh, they are amazing. And they're very, very flexible, stretchy, and even in this cold. So uh, I think they're gonna hold up really, really well. So I've really been enjoying them. I've been itching to get out into them today. One thing I love about snowshoeing in the winter is you can see all the tracks. Looks like we had a coyote go through here a little earlier. There's certainly uh, a lot of them in the area, but I'm not too worried about running into them today. <laughs> and uh, if I have to defend myself, well, I have a, a brand new knife actually I wanted to show you guys. I'm just gonna go out into some sunny areas here so I can show you uh, a contest I won actually um, from Andreas, Off Grid Sweden. I'll uh, put a link to his channel down below. But I won his contest and I actually won a knife that he made. So I'm just going to go up here and uh, have a little seat and show you my new knife. This is the old fire site uh, that I showed you guys in my New Year's video last year. I love to make trips out here and to see the progress and how things are coming along. You know, it's been the first sunny day here and I kid you not, like it feels like weeks. It's always been cloudy with sun up for like an hour and that's it, that's all. 
So I'm just so happy to be out getting some vitamin D today and enjoying this snow. Uh, it's been long, long overdue. Once when I was in this open area here, I, uh, I came across a fox, surprised him. That was really nice for me to see that. Also, I've seen bobcat tracks out here as well, but never ever seen one. It'd be really cool to see one in the wild, but they're so secretive. Um, it would be really rare if I was to see one out here. All right, so let's take a look at this knife uh, that Andrea sent me. And it's really beautiful. So you guys should know this is one of the first knives that uh, he's made. And uh, he made the case as well out of leather, black leather, it's very nice. And here's the knife. The blade itself is made in Sweden and uh, it's a Moore knife. It's about, I don't know, a little over five inches, uh, the blade, I think, it's scary sharp. And the handle itself is made with wood from his land. So it's basically made from birch and oak from his homestead. So I think this is really special. So I'm carrying this with me in the woods today and uh, gonna have this knife for a long time. The, the tang goes all the way through, I believe, so that's nice. And a close up of the case there, looks really good. And fits in there really sturdily. So really happy to get this knife. So thanks Andreas, that's really special. I'm so uh, glad to have your uh, one of your first knives there and I'm gonna take great care of it. So got along with me today uh, in case I need it. Um, but I won't be doing too many bush crafty things here today. I'm just uh, out for a nice little hike. Speaking of that, some of you may wonder what I uh, bring with me when I go on just little day hikes and stuff like that. Uh, this is a really short hike, so I'm not uh, taking a whole bunch of gear, but I always take a pack with things in it because even short trips can go sideways in the woods, especially in the winter time. So important to be really careful and uh, pack wisely. So I'll show you what I have in my pack. So I have this little pack here from the Mountain Equipment Co-op. I really like it. It's uh, just perfect and actually my favorite thing about it is on the inside rim here it says outdoor bacon tastes better than indoor bacon and that's absolutely hilarious I love it so I've waterproofed this one as well you can use a little bit of Greenland wax I'll just show you a few things that I'm carrying today just in case so one of the things I'm carrying are uh, over boots so I've got these uh, it was Gore-Tex or whatnot, but uh, you know, basically these overboots for my snowshoes. So if it was to get really uh, wet, I'm going through little puddles or something like that. This is something you would want to wear over uh, the leather so things don't get really, really soaked. Like I said, my boots are waterproofed to some degree, um, but not overly so, so there is breathability. Um, really important though, if you're going to go through some slop or hiking around and there's like slush to wear the overboots. So got a couple of those here with me today. Don't think I'm gonna need it, it's too cold. Other things I carry with me are uh, bottled water. Now there's lots of snow around, but uh, it's nice not to have to get a fire going and melt water. I also have my little Stanley cup set with me. So if I want to uh, make a tea, I can do that. And lo and behold, I've always got a couple of packs of tea in there. Uh, if you find some turkey tail on tree, you can certainly make some turkey tail tea or balsam needle tea or pine tea but uh, there's my little cup set so always carry that with me always important when you're you know thinking of acquiring water in the woods in the winter time you know don't eat snow I mean that's gonna really chill you down certainly you can boil the snow uh, clean snow that is and make tea or whatever you need but don't eat snow so certainly that's why I'll just bring a, a fresh water bottle with me keep it close to my back and my pack so it stays relatively warm even on short trips, it's really important to carry extra clothes. So I've got an extra hat, extra gloves, and I also carry an extra pair of wool socks. You never know when things are gonna change, weather's gonna change, and you need extra gear. So always bring at minimum, you know, gloves, socks, and an extra hat. Even if you were to run into somebody in trouble, they may need some as well. So good to have this with you. Another thing I carry with me is uh, my sole um, outdoors survival bivy sack. Um, you never know if you're gonna end up end up in an issue and you need to get warm really fast. So this is kind of like a little emergency bivy sleeping bag so I can stay warm in the cold and cut the wind. Always good to carry with you a tinder pouch and ways to start fire. So I've got this tinder pouch from Kirk North of 51. So I carry that with me as well as uh, Stalker Steve's uh, ferro rod and I can use that with my new Mora knife. Another thing I carry with me is my GPS or compass, basically some way to figure out where you are. Um, 
The location day is not that complicated, so I don't really have it on tracking my every move, but this is the Garmin eTrex 10. It's not my favorite GPS unit, certainly in thick uh, cover there. It does not pick up satellite very well. So, um, you know, I'll have a, a compass backup, but this is always good to have with you. And I always carry extra batteries. I enjoy lithium batteries, uh, especially in winter. I tend to find they hold their charge really well. And important to keep something like this kind of close to you, kind of where it's warm, because uh, the batteries do um, fail when it gets cold. Speaking of batteries, uh, I have with me also uh, a battery bank. So one other thing I carry in the woods with me is my cell phone, and I've got this TP-Link um, battery pack to keep it charged. It has 15,600 milliamp hours. So this one's really good. I got this at Best Buy and I really like it. I can get about four charges on my cell phone um, and it's excellent to have because when your cell phone dies in the cold, uh, really important to kind of uh, have a way to charge it if you need to get help if you're using your cell phone um, for communication purposes. Also really good to charge other things like walkie talkies and things like that. I've used it as well for that purpose at the cabin. This is a bit of a luxury item. This is a, a waterproof chair, actually, um, a lounger. And so if you're to lay on the snow um, and you don't want to get like freezing cold, basically uh, this unzips and it's sort of like a little, uh, a little lawn chair kind of thing. This is totally a luxury item, but fun whenever you're going into the bush and want to sit down and have a cup of tea. With me today, I have a little bit of a snack. Um, basically, it's a high protein snack. We're looking at chestnuts. So. If I was to make a little fire today, I can uh, roast some chestnuts over the fire. So, love those. So, I'll carry some form of snack or nutrition with me, especially something that's high protein, be it jerky, nuts, things like that. Um, very tasty. Now we'll go into the front compartment of my bag, see what I have in there. And I've got a little first aid kit, important to carry that along with you in the woods. Always carry a flashlight. So I've got a little one right here that can sit uh, on a cap. Make sure that you check the batteries before heading out in the woods to make sure it's working. Here's a little specimen bag. So I find some mushrooms or something cool in the woods. Uh, I can take this back to the camp. Finally, a few other things, including some tin foil if I was to do some cooking. And I've got a few of those little fire starter pucks as well. I probably should put that in my, my little tinder kit there. Um, so you can see these are the ones that I made that have uh, some birch bark and paraffin and shaving. So that'll really get a fire going. And finally, a little bit of tissue there. Well, those are things I'm carrying along with me today. Obviously, things change depending on the conditions. So always take a look at the weather, know what you're in for, and always prepare for the worst. So that's just for a short little hike, a um, little day hike there. Obviously, I'd bring extra stuff if I was going on a longer trip. Tell me down below in the comments what you guys like to bring with you on your little day trips in the woods. And also, if I was going in the woods to, uh, you know, make fire or you know, be a little bit longer out here, I'd probably bring a little, uh, little axe with me or one of my favorites is the Bear Grylls machete. Uh, so I'd bring that with me to uh, just chop up some wood to start a fire. Well, I'm gonna head out now and continue on the rest of my hike. One important safety tip when you're hiking in the woods is to make sure you're aware of time. You know, uh, this time of year, the sun sets around here around 420. So you don't wanna leave, you know, 3.30 and go on a hike, you know, because you're going to end up coming back in the pitch dark. Also really important, like I said earlier, to carry your flashlight. So, you know, really budget your time properly. Assume that the worst could happen. Make sure you leave, you know, on your little hike and you've got plenty of time to get home before darkness sets in. Great thing to pay attention to. Also, if I'm going off trail, I will bring trail tape with me as well, um, just to mark off a few areas, just in case I get lost or to signal for help. Now the time you've all been waiting for, let's find out who won the contest. So what I did is I took all your names, put them in my, uh, an app in my phone that randomly picks names. Now you've seen me do that before. So let's find out who the winner is. Well, congratulations. Uh, so glad you uh, won the contest. And thank you so much for supporting my channel. So if you wouldn't mind PMing me your information, your address uh, to this channel, and then what I'll do is I'll send out your prize pack as soon as possible.
Thanks guys so much for joining me today on my little trip through the woods and a little tour of my, my carry pack when I'm out uh, on a little snowshoe for the afternoon. Hope you guys have a great week as always. Take care. Mm -hmm.